Okay, today we'll show you how to install the CyanogenMod mod uh, 10.1 on the HC Desire 210. I have downloaded the ROM from 4PDA, as you can see here. That's actually what you get. Download link and like one sentence, which is in Russian. Russian. So here you can see it at on the top. So let's begin flashing. Um, just wiping. Um. From once in storage, formatting data, formatting system, formatting cache. That's the ROM, Cyanogen mod, zip. So I, I wanna tell you first, it's not actually 100% Cyanogen mod. It's actually a really, really t well teamed ROM, but it's not a genuine Cyanogen mod. It's, it looks like KitKat, but it's actually Jelly Bean, but. It's actually <laughs> making somebody made it to look like Cyanogen Mod 11, but it's not. Also, the Google Play don't seem to work, which is crap. But we can't do much. I think they they might fix it. Here we go. Cyanogen. already installed it and give it a few hours and I must say everything except the Google Play I mean all other Google apps work fine but the Google Play just doesn't um, and there are no teams so yeah the main reason to install Cyanogen mod the teams isn't here which is really really bad as you can see there are no teams Here you have this thing, but it it actually changes pretty much nothing. Let, let me tell you, let me show you. So yeah, this thing become pink. So that's that's pretty useless after all. You get warp reflection, see more peppers, um, video wallpaper, which is actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, so it's ports these languages. Let me show you. So yeah, that's, that's cool. Um, it has these apps pre-installed. Actually, these are pretty much the main apps which y you need, so yeah, they are here. Um, they haven't cut off something. You have everything in this room, that, that's the best in my opinion. So it's of course 14 Canon Tutu, but that's just because they have the f f 520 megabytes RAM version as you can see. Here you have, I'll show you the free RAM. So you actually have like 200 of megabytes of RAM used, and the rest is free, which is really cool. So it has these apps, pretty much engine mod apps. You have usually around 1.8 gigabytes of RAM free. And you can use your SD card to internal storage, which is really cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not a real sound mod, but it really is worth to be installed. So yeah, guys. Um, just let me show the camera. I almost forget about that. So that's the camera app. It has this camera mode. That's the front camera. It works fine. Um, 
no problems with video recording or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much guys. Uh, don't forget to like and if you would like to see more videos with the Z310, you can subscribe. And yeah, that's it. Bye.